வணக்கம் வந்தனம் நமஸ்தே நமஸ்கார் குட் ஈவினிங் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு த மோஸ்ட் அண்ட் லைட்னிங் ஷோ ஆன் ரேடியோ போஸ்ட் மார்டம் வித் பாலா நாகேந்திரன் ஆன் ரேடியோ டான் ஆஃப் லைட் ஆஃப் லைஃப் Here all here comes thunderous Thursday to 9 pm 60 minutes of enlightenment where we are going to dissect an issue and will blow the pieces to reveal the hidden secrets behind the curtains it's not only about negative connotations blowing pieces has to be taken with inquisitiveness we are going to blow the pieces to create awareness to destroy the hindrance of knowledge to demolish all the doubts that you possess through 60 minutes of enlightenment known as post mortem because enlightenment begins here you're listening to radio run of light of life the vehicle that transforms your life from stress to bliss the journey to jollity is moving on its path with well established listeners as you all have been with us since the inception of this wonderful platform so go to www.radioran.com www.radioudan.com to submit your feedback for instance if you are listening to post mortem and if you are listening me right now after 9 o'clock go to www.radioudan.com and find the link submit feedback select the show post mortem with bala nagendra and rate the show according to the choices that you feel there will be five choices in front of you excellent very good good okay poor according to the quality of presentation according to the content according to the presentation of the rj you can select and give your rating your rating will help us to open the door of success it will be the key path towards the progressive flight of life known as radio udan on behalf of postmodern and the listeners we salute the former president of india and the everlasting people's president and his legacy yesterday the entire nation and the international community has commemorated his first year death anniversary we have lost a true human being and we have remembered yesterday and this is the first episode of post mortem after such a dark day of the year So we remember Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam and his legacy on post mortem that's why we always care for clarity and neutrality in presentation we care for clarity of information factual clearance and ultimately standing in the middle of an issue that has pros and cons everything in the world has pros and cons a coin has two sides simply similarly everything has pros and cons and we stand in the middle we are not at the end of any side It is up to you from the information that we are giving to choose whether to stand at this end or at the other end but we will always stand in the middle that's why we are able to begin our enlightenment every thursday to 9 pm post mortem enlightenment begins here with balaragendra live from chennai only on radio run you can also download the playlist from radio run you can listen radio run 24/7 go to google play store and download android app we are on android app android as well you can download and enjoy our four hours of live entertaining show for us of a dream of cast and 16 hours of musical extravaganza for instance if you want to listen this reverb cast of post mortem tomorrow 3 to 4 pm you can tune into radio run go to facebook.com/radio run and find our fa- official page and group to put your valid thoughts ideas and suggestions for the better progress of this platform you can also become an rj and make your voice to be heard across the globe by filling the form interested to be a mighty on www.radioudan.com hurry up very less opportunities are available because the flight of life is flying at its highest speed so friends today we are going to talk about we are going to dissect we are going to have an impartial analysis of an award we are first time taken and what we are going to dissect we are going to blow the pieces to know what's the reason behind it every award contains recognition reputation royalty and it also provides honor dignity respect hustle royalty and hustle loyalty and respect in simply speaking so we are going to talk about 
an important award which is recognized globally but it is famous in fact it is totally meant for Asia many of you might have heard yesterday and many of you might have almost every one of you might have read about the announcement of the foundation conferring that award to two Indians we are talking about Ramon Magsese Beswara Wilson a Dalit activist and the founder of Safai Karamchari Andolan to eradicate manual scavenging, one of the lethal professions in India. And T. M. Krishna, the musical legend who has been fighting to open the door of music despite caste and religious differences. The Ramon Magsese Foundation of the Philippines has re released its notification yesterday conferring its prestigious award a citation and a medal to these two Indians hence we are going to talk about the award it is not a simple creation but it has a legacy the legacy is what we are going to focus tonight a year ago, on this very Thursday, 8 to 9 p.m., on your most fabulous, enthusiastic turning point, we talked about Alfred Nobel, the founder of Nobel Prize, which is recognized as the globally significant honor. In fact, the highest honor ever. And this Ramon Magsese is equivalent to Nobel Prize in Asia. It's simply called as Asia's Nobel, Pla Nobel Prize. Ramon Magsese is conferred in commemoration of the seventh president of the Philippines. It has been conferred to more than 50 Indians. The first Indian to have received this prestigious award was Vino Baba Wei in the year 19. 58 and in the year 2016 two Indians have been conferred what are the structure of this Ramon Magsese how this Ramon Magsese has came into existence how far it is able to able to be continued by the foundation if it is only for Asia only the Asians are recognized if it is so doesn't it amount to discriminate treatment? Everything will be answered tonight. How far India has uplifted itself by gaining more Maxese in the region. Yesterday, the notification has conferred award to six out of which two are Indians. One is a Dalit activist who is fighting throughout his life to eradicate manual scavenging. It is necessary to emphasize that he himself from the manual scavenging family as his father, mother and his elder brother performed the profession. In fact, till he attained a certain age, almost every member of his family were in the work of manual scavenging. We are going to talk about the lethal effects of manual scavenging the sum statistical representation if you don't believe that India is not a nation of dark soil cleaners I'm sorry you're dead wrong India possess a substantial population of manual scavengers it is hard to identify even after 69 years of independence there are some communities that are highly suppressed and imperialized by the domestic and the internal strata. We are going to talk from the T.M. Krishna's perspective. As he said, I quote, This award is an unshackling art of a man-made ghettos. An unshackling art. Music has been considered to be of 
a particular caste. It has been highly bucketed with communalism and casteism. To break down all the myths and fabrications, T.M. Krishna came out. The relation, in fact, the nephew of T.D. Krishnamachari, the first finance minister of India, T.M. Krishna occupies the spotlight since yesterday. So more information will be talked about Ramon Maksese and those who have won the Ramon Maksese yesterday, especially T.M. Krishna and Beswara Wilson. Don't go anywhere, Beswara Wilson's story would reveal. In fact, it would give a hard slap across all our face. Stay into Radio Ryan of Light of Life to listen to the most enlightening show post-mortem with Balana Kendran. क्या सुमित एक बात पूछूं हां पूछो तुम्हारे सारे फ्रेंड्स स्टिक यूज करते हैं पर तुम क्यों नहीं करते यार मुझे स्टिक के साथ चलना बहुत अटपटा लगता है और लुक भी तो बिगड़ जाती है ना अपनी अच्छा मुझे तो ऐसा बिल्कुल नहीं लगता तुम एक मिनट यहीं रुको मैं जरा अपनी इंस्टॉलमेंट पे करके आती हूं और कहीं जाना मत यहां से ठीक है हेलो श्रेया हां सुमित यार कितना समय हो गया कहां हो तुम माय गॉड आई एम सो सॉरी सुमित मुझे मेरी एक फ्रेंड मिल गई और मैं उसके साथ निकल गई मैं भूल ही गई थी कि तुम मेरे साथ थे काश कि आपने सही समय पर केन का इस्तेमाल सीख लिया होता तो आज हालात ऐसे न होते इसीलिए दोस्तों कीजिए केन से दोस्ती क्योंकि नो केन नो गेन ओम मंगलम भगवान विष्णु मंगलम गरुध्वजा भक्ति जनों इस मोह माया से भरी संसार में ना जाने कितनी ही दिक्कतें एवं परेशानियों ने सबको फुल टू फसा रखा है और दुनियादारी में टोटली उलझा रखा है परंतु चिंता का कोई विषय नहीं है प्रिय भक्तों क्योंकि इन दिक्कतों से कुछ ना होता देवी डिंपल लेकर आ रही हैं इन सारी समस्याओं का समाधान तो अब से एवरी फ्राइडे 8 टू 9 पीएम सोशल कीड़े सर चढ़ के बोलेंगे in all is all well is well with rj dimple 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 on your favorite radio udan a flight of life lo aa gayi nayi azadi magar batao to sahi na fikr karo beete lamhon ki ki kal ka suraj nikalna baki hai मिल जाएंगी मंजिलें आपको हमेशा कि आपके हौसलों की उड़ान बाकी है सुनते रहिए रेडियो उड़ान द फ्लाइट ऑफ लाइफ Ramon Delphier Maxese, August 31st, 1907 to March 17, 1957, born in Zambales, the Philippines, became the seventh president of the nation. He assumed office on December 30th, 1953, but unfortunately ended his official as well as personal career due to the flight crash on March 17, 1957. A small glance at the life 
of Ramon Del Fier Mancese, who has been living after his death through the Asia's Nobel Prize. What made the government of Philippines and the Rockefeller Foundation to choose his name to be pronounced for an award? What are its achievements? Ramon Del Fier Mancese was born in a family that is of middle class in nature. He educated himself in Zambales and went on to study in Manila. Since then he took part actively in a vision with a vision to partake in the military action. In the year 1936 he has been joined in the defense. He also performed with his stellar role from Philippines during the World War II. In the meantime, he has been posted in the coastal region during Pacific War and his troop has made a marvelous forward front achievements that paved away for the victory to the nation. Thus, he has been recommended to the National Party of Congress in the year 1948. Many have been contrary to his admission, but still his vision to provide education, equal opportunity, employment, to eradicate poverty and to uplift the poor has made him to be may become the renowned person who is eligible to be the president of the nation. In the year 1953, the day has come, and in the year 1954, he has participated in the Bandung Conference of Non-Aligned Movement. He also took part in CETO, Southeast Asian Treaty Organization, against the expansion of communism. He talked about democracy, and at the same time, he emphasized more on education. On March 16, 1957, when he traveled from Manila to Cebu City to address three different educational institutions, at 1 a.m. early morning, March 17, he boarded the presidential flight Mount Pinatoba C-47 to get back to Manila. And in the early morning, the newspapers have released such a devastating info to the people of the Philippines that the flight has been crashed in the mountain and 36 out of the 50, 56 traveling were found to be dead. But numerically, that was a factually error for this information because the total number of members who traveled in that flight was 26. 25 were dead including Ramon Delphier Magsese only the journalist Nester Mather survived. Since then, the Rockefeller Foundation of New York has come forward to have a talks with the government of Philippines to make his legacy live forever. And thus, 1958 onwards this prestigious award has been conferred to those who serve in six different fields such as government service public service community leadership journalism literary and communication creative communication arts and public interest union peace and prosperity the sixth one was emerging leadership. Out of the six, five ceased to exist since 2009. Why? What happened to the five? What happened to the peace inspiring union? What happened to the community leadership? What happened to the journalism, literary and creative communication art? What happened to the government service? What happened to the public service and so forth? We'll tell you in the coming link. Stay tuned to Radio Ron. This is Postmortem. Enlightenment begins here. We are today dissecting 
Asia's Nobel Prize, Ramon Magsese. कभी तड़प कभी तन्हाई कभी बेबसी तो कभी इंतजार ये मर्जी क्या खूब है ना जिसे मोहब्बत कहते हैं तो मामला हो टूटे दिल का या आपको आपके अपने ही कर रहे हो नजरअंदाज फिक्र नॉट क्योंकि स्नेहा के पास है इन सब का इलाज नजराना अब से हर शनिवार रात आठ से नौ नजर आएंगे प्यार के कुछ नए रंग इन नजराना प्यार का मेरा अजय स्नेहा स्नेहा ओनली ऑन रेडियो फ्लाइट ऑफ फ्लाइट नजराना किसी ने प्यार नैब इंडिया यानी नेशनल एसोसिएशन फॉर द ब्लाइंड इंडिया इंडिया की सबसे पुरानी संस्था है जहां दृष्टिहीनों के लिए शिक्षा रोजगार और पुनर्वसन की सेवा दी जाती है नैब इंडिया पर संपर्क करने के लिए हमें ईमेल करें एच एस जी एट द रेट नैब इंडिया डॉट इन्फो आरोप आप हमें कॉल भी कर सकते हैं हमारा नंबर है जीरो टू टू सिक्स सिक्स एट थ्री एट सिक्स थ्री सेवन लो आ गई नई आजादी मगर बताओ तो सही कौन सी है ये नई आजादी ये आजादी है हमें और भी करीब से सुनने की वो कैसे वो ऐसे कि अब आप हमें सुन सकते हो हमारे ऑफिशियली एंड्रॉइड ऐप के माध्यम से जो कि अवेलेबल है गूगल प्ले स्टोर पर तो आज ही डाउनलोड करें रेडियो उड़ान का ऑफिशियल ऐप और आनंद लें एक नई आजादी का रेडियो उड़ान अ फ्लाइट ऑफ लाइफ विकलांगों की आवश्यकताओं के अनुरूप समाज में बाधा रहित निर्माण ही है विकलांग जनों के लिए सहज जीवन का एहसास सहज सुगम विकलांग का जीवन समय की है आवाज यही सुगम में भर अभियान सफल हो सरकार का है प्रयास यही सार्वजनिक भवनों सरकारी कार्यालयों स्कूल अस्पताल पुलिस स्टेशन आदि के साथ साथ विभिन्न परिवहन व्यवस्थाओं जैसे रेलवे स्टेशन बस स्टॉप एयरपोर्ट आदि को विकलांग जनों की आवश्यकताओं के अनुरूप सुगम बनाया जा रहा है ताकि दृष्टि बाधित श्रवण बाधित तथा अन्य विकलांग जन बाधा रहित जीवन के सुखद एहसास ऐसी गुजर सके अधिक जानकारी www.disabilityaffairs.gov.in से हासिल करें सुगम में भारत सशक्त भारत विकलांग जन सशक्तिकरण विभाग भारत सरकार यू आर लिस्निंग टू रेडियो उड़ान रेडियो उड़ान रेडियो उड़ान फ्लाइट ऑफ लाइफ फॉर मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन लॉग ऑन टू डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट रेडियो उड़ान डॉट कॉम हैप्पी लिस्निंग Well, two million people, more than that, were marched during the funeral of Ramon Delphier Magsese. He has been a brave military commander, at the same time a patriotic president, that earned him to be remembered every year, August 31st. The Ramon Magsese Award is given. to those who have been conferred upon on every august 31st in that sense this august 31st celebration is going to witness two indians in the podium receiving that prestigious award now it's time for us to look into the core of this commemoration this rockefeller foundation that has been thinking to find an opportunity to step its foot into asia for community development for service for equipping people for the upliftment of the masses let's not forget that although asia is the largest continent and the populous one is somewhat poor in development hence the rockefeller foundation talked to the government of philippines and hence 
on March 17, 1958, the government of Philippines has conferred the late Ramon Delphier Maxese with an Honor of Cross Award, through which it has been officially established that every year on August 31st, the award will be conferred on his name. Since 1958 to 2008, 50 years, the awards have been conferred on six areas, respectively, sorry, namely, public service, government service, community leadership, journalism, literary and creative communication art, emerging leadership, peace and inspiring union. Many renowned personalities have been conferred this Ramon Magsese. In India, the names like Vino Babave, Varghese Kurian, the father of White Revolution, M. S. Swaminathan, the father of Green Revolution, Kiran Bedi, Arvind Kajriwal, and many more. Even there's great singers like M. S. Subalakshmi. Many Bharat Ratna awardees have also been conferred this Ramon Magsese. Mother Teresa has really received Ramon Magsese for peace and inspiring union. In the year 2008, the award in five categories have been abolished and now it is in only in two categories. One is of emerging leadership and in the other one is for uncategorized section. The uncategorized section could confer the award on anyone who works for the societal upliftment. That's why this year T.M. Krishna, the Carnatic musician, has been conferred. This is surprising to many as Ramon Maxese realized the contribution of a musician from his zone to bring the essence of music to everyone. The egalitarian mindset to provide path to all those who are interested to know the music and its essence has been recognized by the Philippines Ramon Magsese. Interviewing to the correspondents of various news, the awardee, the awardee T.M. Krishna said, this award is an unshackling art of man-made ghettos. This has been in recognition to the glory of music and its gravity of pulling the souls from all parts of the world despite differences. It is my vision to enter and open the door that has been closed for era which is now musty. That has to be cleaned and the place has to be given to everyone those who are interested. A 40 year old musician has been conferred with the Asia's Nobel Prize attracts many. Born from Chennai, TM Krishna's information will be delivered in the coming links. Well, the foundation will announce the award at the end of every July. The Ramon Magsese Foundation also clarifies with its notification on what grounds the awardees have been chosen. Many who have won Ramon Magsese Award in India, totally 40, more than 50 in number, have been chosen from various fields, like Aruna Roy, the activist, M.S. Subalakshmi, the singer, Mother Teresa, the peace activist, Vino Babave, the social activist, M.S. Swaminathan, Virgi Skurian, from science, and many other. In that sense, we need to know who are these two? Who is T.M. Krishna? Who is Beswara Wilson? As I said in the beginning, Beswara Wilson's story would be a hard slap across all our face who still believe that we are living in the nation there is no, where there is no dark soil cleaners. 
Stay into Radio Ron and keep listening post-mortem. Enlightenment begins here. We are going to talk about some harsh realities in the coming links. यार ब्लाइंड होने का एक प्रॉब्लम है मन करता है अच्छे अच्छे रेस्टोरेंट्स में जाऊं और नई नई डिश ट्राई करूं पर मेन्यू ही नहीं पढ़ पाता हाँ और वेटर से पूरा मेन्यू तो नहीं पढ़वा सकते और हर आइटम की प्राइस पूछते हुए शर्म आती है जानते हो ये प्रॉब्लम लो विजन वालों और सीनियर सिटीजन को भी आती है रेस्टोरेंट में लाइटिंग भी तो बहुत कम होती है ना कभी कभी सोचती हूँ की घर ऐसी खाना ऑर्डर कर दूँ लेकिन आस के रेस्टोरेंट पता करना और उनके मेन्यू जानना कितना मुश्किल है कोई इसके लिए कुछ करता क्यूँ नहीं उन सब लोगों के लिए जिनको रेस्टोरेंट मेन्यू पढ़ने में दिक्कत होती है इंडिया का पहला एक्सेसिबल रेस्टोरेंट फाइंडर एंड मेन्यू रीडिंग एप गुड फूड टॉक्स लॉन्च हो गया है अब अपने मोबाइल टैबलेट या कंप्यूटर पे कभी भी कहीं भी आप अपने आसपास के रेस्टोरेंट का नाम एड्रेस फोन नंबर और मेन्यू आसानी से पढ़ सकते हैं बस गुड फूड टॉक्स एप एंड्रॉइड प्ले स्टोर ऐसी डाउनलोड करें अपने कंप्यूटर या आई फोन आरोप डब्ल्यू खोलें और एंजॉय करें अरे वाह मजा आ गया देखो तो पास में कौन कौन से रेस्टोरेंट है यार ब्लाइंड होने का एक प्रॉब्लम है मन करता है अच्छे अच्छे रेस्टोरेंट में रेडियो उड़ान पर मैं आरजे निशा लेकर आ रही हूँ एंटरटेनमेंट एंटरटेनमेंट एंड एंटरटेनमेंट क्या आप रूबरू होना चाहते हैं फिल्म जगत की लेटेस्ट खबरों से जानना चाहते हैं किसका हो रहा है ब्रेकअप या फिर किसने किसको किया है टेकअप कौन सी मूवी है इस हफ्ते की ब्लॉकबस्टर या किसकी जेब को लग रहा है चूना इन सभी खबरों के लिए बी विद मी एवरी सैटरडे 7 टू 8 पी एम एंड री वेबकास्ट एवरी संडे 2 टू 3 पी एम ओनली ऑन रेडियो उड़ान अ फ्लाइट ऑफ लाइफ एक मंच जहां मिलती है महत्वपूर्ण जानकारियां सवाल हो और जवाब दूं एक मंच जहां होते हैं हंसी और ठहाके एक मंच जहाँ होती हैं चर्चाएं दूसरी वाली आपको नहीं समर्पित करूंगा कीजिए बड़े स्पोर्टिंग आप पहले सुन लीजिए उसके बाद कहिएगा आपको चाहिए समर्पण कि नहीं चाहिए एक मंच जहाँ मिलेगा लोकप्रिय संगीत और इन सब के बीच एक ऐसा मंच जहाँ मिलता है सब कुछ लॉग ऑन कीजिए www.radioran.com और जुड़ जाइए हमारे साथ फर्स्ट टी एम कृष्णा We have said a little insight in the past link, but it is necessary to know that who Krishna is all about. Born in the year 1976 in Chennai, T. M. Krishna has been a profound in learning music. Since the age of six, he showed keen interest in learning music. He received bachelor's in arts of economics from the Vivekananda College Chennai and he went on to pursue his music career he born into a family of government officials and also the musical patrons the proponents of learning music led to the creation of this marvelous legend who is serving for the betterment of all those who are interested to learn music he has developed since 1982 and when he began his concerts in the year 1986 when he was at the meager 14 he turned the eyes of the masses towards him in the year 1992 his first foreign concert was at south america and he visited the north and south america two continents in a year many a times he has performed the con- con- concerts more than 10 times in the continent for instance 
In Europe alone, he has performed more than 20 times. His classical advance and the knowledge coupled with compassion to open the doors to the masses has made him to cl go closer to the fans. When he said, I quote, It is not my vision to make music any kind of a million person's game. If truth be told, it can't be of million person's game, but at the same time, a small quantity of human power would make this resource to flourish. He said, we should not approach the success of music on the base of quantity. We should approach in the base of quality. The quality lies even if the small population participates and promotes the purpose behind it. As he said, there is no soul on the planet that is devoid of music. His musical performances have been widely recognized. Married in the year 1997, his wife Sangeeta Sivakumar, who is a musician, too, have begun to perform with him. In the year 2008, he has begun to perform with various renowned musicians like Sudha Raghunathan, Bombay Jayshree, and so forth. In the year 2010, he performed his vocalism at the Air Rahman's musical composition for the International Tamar Classic Conference held in Coimbatore 2010. In the year 2012, he performed a concert at Indonesia with Sudha Raghunathan. He has went on to receive many honors from America, UK, France, Germany, Switzerland, Luxembourg, and also from the African countries like Bosnia, Tanzania, Kenya, and so on. His contributions to the music for the past 34 years has made him to be known for the person who is standing out of the box from all castes and communal mongerings. Many have disagreed with his vision. While asked about that, he replied, I quote, I know that many have disagreed with me, but at the same time, many have silently cooperated and participated with me to achieve my accomplished objectives. I thank all the musicians who stood with me in designing the destiny, that is, opening the door of music to all. While we are talking about cast colored arts, such as the dances can be performed by this caste only. Similarly, music has been of a particular caste. The people like T.M. Krishna are the only remedy to break such artificially fabricated, falsifying, fallacious, factual errors. Well, there are a lot of information to know about T.M. Krishna. As of now, he is in Russia. From Russia, he has spoken to the correspondents. And on the other hand, we have another person who has come from the ragged to Ramon Maxese. From Kolar Goldfield to Manila, we are going to know about Mr. Beswara Wilson. Don't go anywhere. This is the place for us to get ourselves enlightened of what is happening around us. That's why this is postmortem, and that's why enlightenment begins here. रेडियो उड़ान सुन रहे सभी मित्रों को मेरा प्यार भरा नमस्कार मेरा नाम मधु सिंगल है मैं बेंगलोर में कार्यरत संस्था मित्र ज्योति जो पिछले 25 वर्षों से दृष्टिहीनों एवं दूसरे विकलांग व्यक्तियों के लिए कार्यरत है उसकी मैनेजिंग ट्रस्टी हूं इस संस्था की गतिविधियां इस प्रकार हैं 
यहाँ पर दृष्टिहीनों के लिए ऑडियो में पुस्तकें रिकॉर्ड की जाती हैं इसके साथ साथ ब्रेल में और स्कैंड पुस्तकें भी उनको दी जा रही हैं कंप्यूटर प्रशिक्षण और रोजगार की सुविधाएं भी यहाँ प्रदान की जा रही हैं दृष्टिहीन महिलाओं के लिए एक विशेष प्रकार का कोर्स चलाया जाता है जिसमें उन्हें आत्मनिर्भर बनकर जीवन में आगे बढ़ने की क्षमता प्रदान की जा रही है आप मित्र ज्योति से संपर्क कर सकते हैं यहाँ का फोन नंबर है जीरो एट जीरो डबल टू फाइव एट सेवन सिक्स टू थ्री और डबल टू फाइव एट सेवन सिक्स टू फाइव ई मेल एड्रेस है एडमिन डॉट ऑफिस एट द रेट ऑफ मित्र ज्योति डॉट ओ आर जी वेबसाइट है डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट मित्र ज्योति डॉट ओ आर जी आलू है गोभी है मटर टमाटे आलू है गोभी है मटर टमाटर बाबूजी एकदम बढ़िया ताजा है सेब है एकदम मीठा सेब बाबूजी एकदम मीठा सेब ले लो अरे बाबूजी सेब ले लो सेब एकदम मीठे हैं बढ़िया एकदम ले लो बाबूजी अरे भैया सेब कहा भाव दिए अरे बाबूजी ले लो एक सौ बीस रूपए किलो है अच्छे हैं अरे एकदम बढ़िया बाबू कश्मीरी सेब है अच्छा अच्छा दो किलो दे दो दे रहे हैं बाबू जी ले बाबूजी अरे रे रे एक मिनट तुम इन्हें पॉलिथीन में क्यों पैक कर रहे हो ये बहुत खतरनाक होती है क्या तुम्हें पता नहीं है बाबूजी जी कैसे देखो जब हम इन पन्नियों का यूज करते हैं तो इसमें रखा सामान खाने योग्य नहीं होता दूसरा जब हम इसे फेंकते हैं तो पशु पक्षियों के लिए भी खतरनाक साबित होता है पानी में डाले तो पानी को भी दूषित करता है और साथ ही साथ हमारी नन्नी नन्नी मछलियाँ इसमें फंस जाती है जिससे उनका दम घुट जाता है या फिर हम इन पॉलिथीन बैग्स को जलाएं तो उससे निकलने वाली गैस जैसे कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड से हमारी स्वच्छ वायु दूषित हो जाती है तो ऐसी खतरनाक चीज का हम उपयोग क्यों करें भला सही कहा बाबूजी आपने अब हम कब न प्लास्टिक का थैला इस्तेमाल करीब अब तो हम हमेशा कपड़े का थैला इस्तेमाल करीब और पन्नी का भी इस्तेमाल नहीं करीब दोस्तों ये तो समझ गए और आप नहीं समझे तो समझ जाइए रेडियो उड़ान द्वारा जनहित में जारी विजिट ऑन डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट रेडियो उड़ान डॉट कॉम वॉइस फॉर ब्लाइंड क्लब में आप सभी का स्वागत है क्लब का उद्देश्य शिक्षा के माध्यम से आपको आत्मनिर्भर बनाना रिकॉर्डिंग एंड स्क्राइब की प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व करना भारत के कई शहरों में वॉइस फॉर ब्लाइंड क्लब के सदस्य अपनी सेवाएं देना चाहते हैं क्लब से कांटेक्ट करने के लिए मेल आईडी है वी ओ आई सी ई एफ ओ आर बी एल आई एन डी वॉइस फॉर ब्लाइंड एट द रेट ऑफ जी मेल डॉट कॉम मोबाइल नंबर नाइन फोर वन जीरो फोर एट जीरो एट फाइव एट मैं अनिता शर्मा एंड मेरे क्लब मेंबर रिकॉर्डिंग एंड स्क्राइब की आवश्यकता को पूरा करने का हर संभव प्रयास करेंगे अधिक जानकारी के लिए आप हमें मेल कर सकते हैं थैंक यू सो मच बैरियर ब्रेक पेश करता है नया ऐप न्यूज हुक न्यूज हुक एक ऐसा ऐप है जिसे विशेष तौर पर विकलांगजनों और सीनियर सिटीजन के लिए एक्सेसिबल बनाया गया है ये ऐप टॉकबैक के साथ पूरी तरह कंपेटेबल है और इसमें खबरों के लिए साधारण इंग्लिश का इस्तेमाल किया जाता है तो आज ही अपने एंड्रॉइड प्ले स्टोर आरोप जाइए और टाइप कीजिए एन ई डब्ल्यू जेड एच डबल ओ के डाउनलोड कीजिए और एंजॉय कीजिए न्यूज हुक न्यूज हुक के साथ खबरें पढ़ते रहिए और एंजॉय करते रहिए न्यूज हुक अ ट्रेजर ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन You are listening to Radio Kulan Radio Kulan Radio Kulan a flight of life for more information log on to www.radiokulan.com happy listening We have reached the last segment of today's postmortem as we have been dissecting Ramon Magsaysay and the two Indians who have been conferred for 2016. And here comes a man from Kolar Gold Field, 
born in the year 1966. Named as Thoti, which means scavenger, insulted, humiliated, isolated, alienated, and suppressed in schools and wherever he went. He came to know when he was seven years old about their parents' profession, which is manual scavenging, that is cleaning the dark soil. I don't want to use some lavish lexicon, simply say cleaning the human excreta, I mean the human waste from the dry latrines or the open latrines nearby the Kolar Goldfit Township. When he found the bin, bin in the sense, the dust bin which is helped, which is used to carry the human waste after it has been taken into the hands of his parents. Which means you have to take the waste into your hand from the dry latrine and you have to put it into that bin in order to dispose it. He found, as soon as he found the bin behind his house and when he came to know the profession, he contemplated of committing suicide. Fortunately, that hasn't happened, which has given one of the renowned social activists who has even went on to threaten the Prime Minister of India of legal consequences. Beswara Wilson, 1996, 1966, born in Karnataka, in a family of poor manual scavengers. He has been sent to school. That is perplexing. His parents might have thought at least he can bring some change to the community. And then he has been isolated by the students, humiliated by the teachers, alienated by the school management. Named him Toti. Toti means scavenger. Named by the caste, he couldn't understand in his tender age what is meant by Thoti and what their parents do. When he came to know of their professions, he felt saddened. From then on, he went on with a vision to eradicate such a lethal profession. His elder brother has also been put in to manual scavenging. He has been working for four years in Indian railways cleaning the human waste. Can we imagine us taking the human waste from the dry latrine by our hands and then eating using the same hands? This is how more than two lakh Indians are living even today. According to Beswara Wilson, the battle will continue. This is just the recognition. We are yet to win the war. We have won the battle. And he also adds that India has more than three lakh families in manual scavenging. More than two lakh are in the profession still. More than 93% were Dalits. And apart from that, he says, many children have also been deployed by their family due to poor economic background and standard of living. They have been prohibited from schools so that they can be put into manual scavenging. It has happened to his brothers, he says. Many have also been talking about putting him into that profession when he was going to school. But he has been stubborn enough to study and he joined the Ambedkar Open University Andhra Pradesh and pursued his education. Then he moved to Andhra. Majority of his activism happened in Andhra and in the year 1994 when he established Safai Karamchari Andolan SKA, an organization that focuses on eradicating manual scavengers, the movement has been taken nationwide. He said, I quote, Till 1994, there were more than 
a million manual scavengers and Safai Karamchari Andolan has uplifted more than 3 lakh manual scavengers from the profession and the battle continues. India has reported that the reduction of manual scavengers but in reality it is wrong. Last week there was an inter zonal meeting where the secretaries of various states have joined the proceedings to talk about manual scavenging. Many states have given the notice of dilatrines. For example, Madhya Pradesh has given more than 36,000 dry latrines in the state, but it has reported the available manual scavengers are only three. The experts and the ministers have completely refuted the statement that the government has wrongly representing the facts. Andhra Pradesh has shown that it has more than 19,000 bilaterals but no manual scavengers which means the state has completely eradicated the manual scavengers which is an absolutely false statement according to Deswara Wilson. Besides all, in the year 1986, Israel battle has begun. He has filed the petition to the necessary authorities of Kolar Gold Field where he has taken the photos of dry latrines. No action has been taken. He has sent that to the chief minister threatening legal consequences. Note threatening with legal consequences. The action has been taken. The Kolar Goldfield has arranged an immediate meeting to turn all those dry latrines into water flushing toilets. In the year 1997, he has written to the Prime Minister of India notifying the lethal suppression through manual scavenging and to take necessary actions under the Prohibition of Manual Scavenging Act of 1992. He still says that the act has seriously been violated. He has filed the lawsuit in the court in the year 1986 and in the year 2014 his long year battle has come to an end at the mercy of the apex court of India which has ordered all the states and union territories to ban manual scavenging. But still, the eradication and prohibition from the officials are taking place only in papers and the practitioners are suppressed, hidden from the lights of the media. We hope that Beswara Wilson and his battle would end up with a victorious war. The war will be won by the civil society representatives and the citizens against this gruesome, diabolical, inhuman profession. Whenever you eat, think of the two lag hands that are eating and cleaning the human waste with the same hand. With that note, I end this week's postmortem and pay away for another show, Tech City, followed by Dil Say Dil Tak. I'll meet you on the Sunday to 9 p.m. on your most informative show, World This Week, and on the next Thursday with another impartial analysis on your most enlightening show, Post Modern. Till then, take care of yourself, if possible, take care of others. Never forget, manual scavenging is a lethal profession. Good night, Bernas Notches, Ranakam. Fan movie, Shahru Khan ki, aur main na dekhu, impossible. Hmm, really, one fan?
कौन सी पलटन यानी कि मेरी पलटन आपने सुना क्या रेडियो डांस प्रेजेंट चबरा वाला फैन हाय डियर दिस इज अंकिता और मैं शाहरुख खान की बहुत बड़ी वाली जबरी वाली फैन हूँ क्योंकि मुझे उनकी एक्टिंग बहुत पसंद है उनकी पर्सनालिटी पसंद है और मुझे पूरे पूरे के पूरे शाहरुख बहुत पसंद है और मैं उनकी ये वाली मूवी जरूर देखने वाली हूँ क्योंकि मैं उनकी जबरी वाली फैन हूँ हाय दिस इज पार्थ सुंदरा फ्रॉम गुजरात बड़ोड़ा से मैं आई डी बर्मन यानी कि राहुल दिल बर्मन जी का बहुत बड़ा फैन हूँ उनकी कंपोजिशन म्यूजिक कंपोजिशन ये सब मुझे बहुत प्यारी लगती है और एक आर्टिस्ट होने के नाते मैं उनको बहुत फॉलो करता हूँ मैं उनका बहुत 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 बड़ा चित्रा वाला फैन हूँ हाय मैं हूँ शालू और मैं अजय देवगन की जबरा फैन हूँ क्यूँकी मुझे उनके स्टाइल एक्टिंग सब बहुत पसंद है और उनके जो मेन शायरी बोलने का अंदाज है वो तो बहुत अच्छा लगता है हाय मैं अहमदाबाद ऐसी गुजरात से पार्क बात कर रहा हूँ फैन की बात हो रही है तो मैं शाहरुख खान का चबरा वाला फैन हूँ क्योंकि शाहरुख खान की जो भी मूवी आती है वो मुझे बहुत बढ़िया लगती है और उसके जो एक्टिंग करती है वो भी एक्टिंग बहुत बढ़िया होती है जिसमें शाहरुख खान का चबरा वाला फैन हूँ हेलो एवरी वन मैं रवि लखनऊ ऐसी और मेरे फेवरेट हैं सबके फेवरेट सलमान खान मैं हूं उनका सबसे जबरा वाला फैन क्योंकि तो उनके स्टाइल उनका लुक्स उनके डांसिंग उनका एक्टिंग मुझे सब कुछ बहुत पसंद है और वो सबको जबरदस्त है वो सच अ रियल बीन ह्यूमन है मैं हूं सलमान खान का जबरा वाला फैन हेलो एवरीवन तो मैं यानी कि डेविड जोशी का जबरा वाला फैन और कोई नहीं हमारी सबसे खूबसूरत और सबसे प्यारी आर जे धड़कन यानी कि आप ही हमारे सबसे वाला चबरा वाला फैन हो क्योंकि सच में जब से मैं आपको सुनता आया हूँ आपसे सबसे बड़ा फैन हो गया हूँ क्योंकि आपके जो बोलने का अंदाज है जो आप जो आपका आवाज की कमाल है पर्दे के पीछे रहकर भी जिस तरह आप ऑडियंस को पकड़े रहते हो तारीफे काबिल है और इसी अंदाज पे तो मैं फिदा हो गया हूँ सो so, डेविड जोशी का जबरा वाला फैन आर जे धड़कन खातिरदारी में कमी नहीं छोड़ेंगे आपकी ख्वाहिशों को सर राखों पे रखेंगे क्योंकि आप हैं तो हम हैं बाकी सब कम है तो बरगुदार अपने कानपुर के स्पीकर का वॉल्यूम और आँखों के पिक्सल का रेजोल्यूशन बढ़ा लीजिए क्योंकि मैं यानी आप जे धड़कन लेकर आ रही हूँ जबरा वाला फैन इस शुक्रवार शाम सात ऐसी आठ बजे ऑन योर रेडियो उड़ान ऑफ लाइट ऑफ लाइट